This is the 11th video in the video series of Overall Mechanics with Python. In this one, I'm going to be going deeper into the J2 perturbation because um, I feel like there's more things to say than I did before. And I just want to address a quick mistake I made in the last video. Uh, so I accidentally, I didn't set the, uh, the codes to degrees when initializing the orbit propagator class. So I thought it was radians. Um, when it was degrees, so that was giving bad outputs. So I want to take care of that. And I'm also going to talk about the variation of parameters method for J2, because I was watching another J2 video, and this guy did a really good job of explaining more of the variation of parameters, for like how you ran and your argument of parity change over time with the J2 perturbation, and it is highly dependent on your inclination. So I was going to give a few examples to go over that, but mostly the examples are that you have this cosine of i term, so if you set i to um, 90 degrees, it's going to be zero. You're going to have no change in your uh, ran. And then here, if you, I forget what the number is I have in the script, but if you set i to a certain value, this term becomes zero, and then you have no change in your argument of parity. So I was going to do those examples. So I'll just get to it. Um, I basically already have it written out. And also, I switched back to my um, personal computer because I used my work computer for the summer. So uh it'll just look different but this is a windows subsystem i think i had it on the second video um pretty nice to use you can use all the linux commands and it's all it's basically just like a linux terminal um so uh, this is the same thing i had before with the previous video um i just have some other examples uh and just to for a sanity check for me to make sure that i was doing this right i pulled this book example from the um and uh, orbital mechanics for engineering students um to make sure that worked out so let's go ahead and run it um, just so you guys can see another example of what this looks like. So this is just some arbitrary orbit that was an example in the book. That's what it looks like. You can see how um, much these parameters vary due to the J2. And this is for 48 hours propagation. Um, and then the cos, you can see how argument parity goes up and then RAN goes down and then the rest are just oscillating. Uh, so that's just one example. And then I want to give the ISS example just to get that out of the way, because that's what I did before that I messed up. Degrees equals true. Degrees equals true. Um, yep, so here it is, ISS. You can see a pretty big effect there, just over 48 hours. And the cos. This is more what they're supposed to look like. Um, in the other one, I, I think RAND was increasing over time, and then um, semi major access was all weird. It should be oscillating, it shouldn't be like a secular effect. And I was actually not able to recreate the error that I made because I didn't save the scripts from what I had before. So if anyone can see the error, I guess, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty confident with this, um, especially because of these next examples. So this one um, is a near polar orbit here. So you're going to see a very small change in RAN, but the argument parity can still change quite a bit. Plotting. So there's that, you can see a little bit of a less effect. Um, but you can see it's a polar orbit there, like right there. And then the cos. Um, so this is random time, obviously it looks like it's changing, but if you see over 48 hours, you only change by 0 0.002 degrees. So that's, and that's due to the fact that it's not exactly polar because you run into numerical problems and when you make it exactly polar, but that's just what it is. Um, so obviously a very tiny change in RAN over 48 hours, given that you're in a polar orbit. And then for the last one, oh, by the way, I can just do this and comment these out because the state zero keeps being overridden. So it's just the last one that it is. And then this one, this is a 63.435 angle um, for inclination. And you can see, so it's not very clear at first. Um, yeah, this is a plot. You can see a pretty big variation. Um, it's not clear at first, but what's, it's the, um, the argument of perigee isn't really changing, even though it looks like it's going up and down a lot. It's just bouncing between 360 and zero degrees due to um, the inverse uh, inverse trig functions. So it's just staying at that value, whether you call it 360 or zero, it's basically the same thing. Um, you still have some change in RAN here though. That's however much, you can zoom into these plots by the way, like that, change of like, yeah, six degrees or something started out from the bottom. So yeah, I just want to give those examples and to clarify what I did wrong, just make sure that when you do this, um, like for the ISS example, set degrees is equal to true. Um, so it outputs um, degrees. 
and then you want to make sure that you specify degrees equals true. I have them both set up by default now as true, but I just want to explicitly point that out. So I didn't want to take too long with this video because I was continuing what was going on. Um, yeah, I just did those two things. And I'm going to post a link to the video um, of this guy who goes over really well all the, um, all more of the math behind the J2 because he did a really good job. Um, yep. And then next one, I'm going to get to aerodynamic drag. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, yep.